We got a new camera in the mail. Um, it's the Fujifilm X-H2. Uh, as you guys know, we are Fujifilm diehards. Um, we have the X-H2S spindle in right here, and we've got the X-H2. And uh, we're excited to get these guys tested out. But uh, overall, if you're not familiar with these two cameras, uh, this is a photo focused um, APS-C style camera. It is 40 megapixels, and this is a similar APS-C style camera, but it is more geared towards video. So we've got the video focused camera from Fujifilm, and we have the photo focused camera from Fujifilm. We are gonna be doing some direct testings, head to head, these two cameras, between the photo and the video on the channel. But overall, I mean, the comparison between these two body styles, they're exactly identical. The only thing that you're gonna see different on these two cameras is this one has a little S up here, and this one does not. Um, this is the X-H2, and this is the X-H2S. The, uh, the camera body style is exactly the same. The only difference in these two cameras is the sensor. So for me, the reason I bought both of these cameras is because this one is 40 megapixels and I do a lot of photography and that's gonna come in very handy. I've been running into some situations where I've needed a little bit higher megapixels than the X-T4 um, and this comes in at the same megapixel count as the X-T4 so that's where this comes into play is this one's gonna be primarily photo but I do wanna see if this will work uh, well as a video camera as well, which I think it will, but it's not gonna be as good as this camera. So mostly this camera is gonna be rocked this way with the camera grip, uh, with the extended grip that lets you add two more batteries in the base, uh, just like this. And this is gonna be probably my most used camera. Allegedly, I don't know yet. We haven't tested it. Um, this one though, we have been putting this through the ringer for the last month or so, and there'll be lots of videos coming out on the channel about this camera. But this one we've got in a small rigs cage, um, and it's a fantastic video camera. The best thing, the sleeper feature on this one that I was really hoping that you'd be able to do on this one, which would have made this like my probably my go-to camera would have been the open gate functionality that this camera has, which lets you full, record a full sensor readout. But we're gonna be doing some tests, some video tests, some photo tests be between these two cameras. Uh, but body style wise, weight wise, everything, when you pick up these two cameras, the only difference that you're gonna run into is the S on these two cameras. But I am excited to test these and uh, let you know what we find out. If you're interested in seeing how these two cameras stack up to each other, photo versus photo, video versus video, we're gonna have those videos coming out very shortly. We just got this camera in today, like I said. And so we'll have lots of testing coming. There will be some other videos that are comparing this camera to the X-H1 coming out very shortly also. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon.